I'm a subversive. I've been subversive my whole career. I like to challenge the system. I don't agree with the system. And somehow I've got away with it. I've been showing you some of the stuff that we've been subverting in Slough for the last 10 years. But before that, um, I was really glad to hear the reference to gatherings and circles. I've spent my whole career in gatherings and working with circles. Going way back to working in young females at Ed Institutes, where they're quite brutal regimes, but working in there and getting people, young people together to talk and work. Right way through to the penal system, adults, working in therapeutic wings with prisoners, males. Uh, some of the worst offenders in the country, still working in a fake time way. Even the darkest parts of our country works. Right the way down into the community. My personal home address has a circle in it. So I'm kind of hot wired and I'm a psychotherapist by training. So this is about dialogue and how we engage with and how we change language. Language is so badly used in our society. There's a brutality and a mechanical way that you can hear in politics, hear it everywhere. And in that, that way of forming of dialogue, we get totally lost in that cold, mechanical, corporate, dehumanised way of trying to talk. Part of my philosophy is based on Martin Buber. Martin Buber, do you know anyone? German philosopher? I thou, not I it. And understanding what I thou means and how we engage with each other brings that humanity alive, not that disconnect. So when we talk about isolation, it's that disconnect which is the problem. Disconnect leads to isolation, aloneness, fragmentation, separation, feeling a burden to, and then a whole complicated world of problems that come into that, in which we often try to mentor. So pathogenics, the medical model? No, part of my subversive nature is salutogenics. Salutogenesis is working with a person, with what is right, not what is wrong. In the medical world, we go too far down the route of prescribing rigid kind of treatments, and lose sight of the human being. In salutogenesis, we see the whole person. And that was Aaron Anwotsky, uh, Sociologists came up with this kind of methodology. And a lot of the work we can show you is based on that kind of model. But every year we do something really powerful on World Mental Health Day for COVID 10. And we follow this through every year, building on isolation, loneliness, being and belonging, uh, suicide in our communities. We focus on that hugely. We're not afraid to go there in a different way of trying to get different dialogue about the reality of mental health, poor mental health, and what we can discuss in our communities. And that being belonging that David mentioned in his presentation, um, it came to me, uh, I've been aware of it for so many years, what it is to be a part of or not, to belong or not. But there's a, a brilliant psychotherapist colleague called Gay Houston that wrote a book on being belonging. And that kind of triggered in me something for last year's um, World Health Day. And then with David, the working up the curators in the audience, we have now some of those that are involved in that, going to interview people and get what it is from that vast group of people into that very powerful film that you saw some of, and the tragic outcome to the academy. But we understand this isolation, we understand this aloneness, we understand the fragmentation of the society, we understand the use of language which is wrong. We try to change that in every way possible with these gatherings. That's a great pleasure to be here to talk about some of the stuff that we've done in the last 10 years. We try to change the way that we, as we are a community, not working on a community, in health services and in local society, often we're working on something. Yeah? Not in our world, I'm subversive. We work with, and we do it with, not on. And the, the energy 
the innovation, creativity, the big art community is there in abundance. There's something wrong with stat surgery sometimes that we think we are professionals, we get it all right, we don't, we get it wrong. When I first came to sound 10 years ago, um, I brought in a methodology called the Circle Works. The Circle Works. Turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. There's a long, fouling members. You're, you're, you're. Enduring thread was something going way back in time, where we started co-producing, co-creating stuff. Before co-production became a buzzword between our, our workforces, we were doing it. And from the, the circle works, we, we developed a whole strategy by working together about what wasn't in the sound and what we wanted in the sound which was a different form of uh, uh, psycho-educational <coughs> you know, club. It became recovery college. Recovery college is two minutes. Okay. Oh, thank you. I'm getting rushed along. Um, I didn't remember on that time. Uh, uh, out of that, we create a whole recovery college movement across the town. We've got co-production needs. We've got so much interesting stuff we're actually doing that we actually now gaining recognition nationally, internationally, about what we've got. So this little slab is really punchy way on its way and do something proper and engaging with our community and changing dialogue too.